Okay, so we're gonna rate musical instruments. We're gonna rate them by how moist they are. So the question is, how moist do these instruments make other people be? Are they gonna be moist or wet or damp, dry, maybe arid or moistless? We'll see which instrument comes out on top. And I myself do play a few of these instruments, not well, but I still play them and I enjoy it. And I do have a fondness for music. But let's see. Let's see which of these musical instruments is top moist levels. I'm going to start out with my main instrument, which is the acoustic guitar. Now, I mean, we don't even have to say anything about it. This is one of the most moistest instruments out there. Okay? There's no doubt about it. In fact, if you go to anyone who plays guitar in general and ask them, why did you start guitar? No one's going to say, because you know, I wanted to express my musicality through the arts of music. No, it's because you wanted to get a girl. The top notch, moist instrument. Now I do agree, it is kind of basic, okay? But when you, when you do it well, man, you do it well. All right, next we got the bass trombone. Now, I like, I like bass instruments, you know? They're, they're chill, right? And a lot of people seem to dislike them just because, you know, they're kind of in the lower side. But I have a respect for more bassier instruments. And the trombone itself is a quite respectable instrument. It's not up there, but I'd give it a damp, okay? Because, you know, it's an interesting instrument. It's a bass and it's kind of the backbone, it forms a backbone of the brass section. So, you know, respects, props for that, okay? Next, we got another bass instrument. We got the bass clarinet. Probably can't see it because of how long it is, but that just shows that it is a quite at least a damp instrument. I'm kind of tempted to say wet because the clarinet itself, right? The entire clarinet, oboe, that kind of family, you know, it's quite wet. However, I haven't really seen anyone play the bass clarinet. In fact, I didn't know this musical instrument existed until a few weeks ago. So I think I gotta put it in the damp section because it is not that uh, wet. Say. Next, we got the bass guitar. Now, the bass guitar is, I would say, a little bit controversial. I mean, if you see players like Davey 504, right? I mean, I'd say it's better than an acoustic guitar most of the time. However, most people who play bass, they're kind of in the background, you know? So, I would like to give it moist, right? And it can reach moist levels, but on average, I'd have to go with wet. Right? Next, we got the bassoon, which is you know, one of those kind of more unique instruments that not many people hear of. But the bassoon is, I think it's a really great instrument. I like the bassoon. I know people who play the bassoon and they are very musical. And the bassoon itself is a very deep, this beautiful, resonating instrument. And I'd say it's better than the bass clarinet. Just because, you know, I've seen more people play it and I'm more familiar with it. So it might be a little biased. But I wouldn't say it's wet. You know, it's, it's up there. It's, it's like almost, almost there but it's not quite wet. I'm gonna go to the cello, which, I mean, it's part of the violin family, right? The cello itself is a wet instrument. It is definitely a wet instrument. As long as you don't play canon in D, canon in C, all that kind of you know, disgusting stuff, right? Perfect, beautiful. Next, we got the clarinet. Now, I used to roast clarinets a lot because I had friends that play clarinets and, you know, I thought it was a pathetic instrument, right? But um, actually, there's a lot of things you can do with the clarinet. It's a quite instrument, interesting instrument. And, you know, the more I heard it, right, in like orchestras and pieces like that, it was, it's quite wet. It is a pretty wet instrument, right? I'm putting it up there with the wet instruments, right? With cello and bass. Next, we've got the contrabass clarinet. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like a clarinet, but bassier. Um, I don't really know much about this instrument. I don't think I've ever heard of it, or like heard it in recordings, or orchestras, but I'll put it in, uh, I don't know, man. I, I think I'm gonna put it in the dry section because it just seems like, you know, like it, it kind of looks cool, but at the same time, it looks kind of heavy. And I don't think it's moist, you know? I don't even think it's damp. Next we got the contrabassoon, and I think it's it's kind of on the same level with the contrabass clarinet. Um, 
you know, it's just, it's just, you know, like bassoon's already deep and you gotta add another level of deepness. For me, I just think it's not wet. You, you can't make people moist with a contra bassoon as easily as you can with a bassoon or a clarinet. Next, we got the English horn, or called the cor anglaise, or however French people pronounce it, which is weird because it's, it's an English horn, but you know, it's in French. And just because of that, I'm gonna put it in the arid section, arid section, because that's a stupid name. Why, why would you call it a English horn, but then it be in French? It's stupid, it's a dumb name. Um, it's not even a horn. I don't think it's an English instrument, but whatever it is, I don't like it. It's it's just in, its name is a it's a misnomer and it's stupid. Okay. Next we have the symbols. Now, I have a soft side for percussionists because my first instrument was drums. I wasn't really good at it, but you know I understand what it feels like to be a percussionist. The symbols. I'm sorry. You can. Right, because we're, we're in the moistless, right? We're in the moist kind of category. We're not we're not dealing with like how musical they can be, right? It's moistness, and almost never has a symbol made someone moist. So I'm sorry, man. You gotta be the first instrument to be in the moistless section. Next, we got the double bass. Now, I like the double bass because I'm very into jazz, and you know the double bass is kind of a cool instrument on the background, you know. I wouldn't say it's as good as a cello, right? Because it's lower and you know it doesn't have too many as many solo parts and you know all that stuff. But it's still pretty damp. Okay, it's a quite damp instrument. Next is the drum set. Now, again, as as I, as I said before, you know I played drums. It was a, it was my first instrument, but you know I feel like this is kind of overrated because a lot of people will put it at the moist section, right? Especially. Um, females, right? When guys play drums, they're like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. But I don't know, maybe it's because I'm a classical, more classical music kind of guy. I don't think it's moist. I wouldn't say it's moist. I'd say it's wet, right? I would give it that. But, you know, there's like, it's very, it's very rhythmic, but there's no, you know, melody in it. And that's one of the things that makes a music, makes an instrument moist you know it, it has amazing melodies as well as its rhythmic tendencies All right so it's not up there with moist but it's still it's not bad it's not bad next we got the electric guitar now you think I put it with moist but I feel like in just the levels of moistness it's less than an acoustic it's just a thing okay electric guitars are way cooler but electric guitars don't make people moist they make people go, damn, you're a pretty cool guy. They don't go, dang, you just made me moist, you know? It's, it's not a thing. So I'd say the electric guitar, right, just, just based on moistness is a tier lower than the acoustic. And following that, we have the flute, which is a decent instrument. And I think, right, if a girl plays it, then it's a moist instrument. I think it's a damp instrument, right? Damp to wet, somewhere around there. But if a guy plays it, right? Not not being sexist or anything, but this is just the truth. It's, it's more of dry. But since more, you know, I've seen more girl girls play it, right? And it's not a bad instrument. I'll put it in the damp section. But yeah, it depends on which gender plays it. And it sounds sexist, but it's not. Okay, trust me, it's just how it works. Right? I know because because I played a few instruments for a few years. All right, I have all the credibility of roasting and lifting up instruments. Next, we got the piano. And I mean, I don't even have to say anything. It is the most moist. I think I think it will be the moistest instrument out of all instruments. Next, we got the harp. For me personally, I'm gonna put it in the moist. It's a moist instrument. It's like a string piano. I mean, the piano is already made out of strings, but like, like, you just, you know, you pluck the string. And it is beautiful, right? And listening to harps has made me moist on multiple multiple occasions. So it is a moist instrument. I'm gonna put it there. Next is a French horn. French horn, again, is a respectable instrument. Um, I wouldn't say it's dry, 
but I wouldn't say it's wet either. It's, it's somewhere in the middle, you know? It's like those like respectable instruments, but it's not the, it's not the greatest. And um, I mean, some people call it the horn, other people call it the French horn. And I don't know if it's from France, but it's probably not because a lot of things that, you know, are French are not actually French, like French fries. Anyways, next we got the marimba. And again, the, the amazing thing about percussion instruments is that one person usually has to learn most of these instruments. And that already is plus one respect, but the marimba itself and all of those, you know, kind of tuned percussion instruments, they sound beautiful, they sound amazing, man. The, the coordination you need to control those mallets and stuff is crazy. And, you know, I heard a really loud, um, resonating marimba once and they were in the middle of a football stadium and it was crazy it was amazing okay i'm gonna put it in the wet section because of my experience with the marimba it was top-notch instrument next we got the oboe oh man the oboe i mean it's in the you know it's, it's on the same family as the clarinet i think it's the entire family is just the oboe family but uh i don't know man i've never really had any damp, even damp experiences, you know? I'm gonna put it on the dry section, okay? Because I don't really feel like it's too damp. You know, it's not as damp as clarinets and you know, stuff like that. Next we have the organ, and wow. If you hear the one Bach piece, right? Toccata and Fugue in, I think it's D minor. It is an amazing, a sounding instrument, right? And other pieces, I'm pretty sure, just it's just a grand instrument you know now i want to say it's moist okay or even wet just because right it's more for old people but just because its musicality is amazing and its sounds are amazing i'm gonna put it in the damp section next we got the good old piccolo and i mean if you play the piccolo you already know where i'm gonna put you and if you don't play the piccolo but you've sat next to a piccolo, you will completely agree when I say I'm gonna put in the moistless section because it is too freaking loud. I'm sorry, okay? Obviously, there are amazing piccolo players out there and there's a lot of different ways to make piccolo sound amazing. But on average, it is a moistless, anti-moist, right? It gets rid of any, even if you were damp in the first place, like it gets rid of any moistness you had. Okay? It just gets completely rid of it. I'm gonna put it in the moistless section. Next is the saxophone, and it is a beautiful, beautiful instrument. Right? It's used in jazz. It's not as used that much in orchestras, but it still is. But I think everyone will agree that it is a moist instrument. You just whip it out when you play those jazzy scales, right? Beautiful instrument. Has made me moist on multiple occasions. Next is the tambourine. Now, um, the tambourine is a nice percussion instrument. I wouldn't say it makes people moist, okay? And I really like this instrument, okay? When I put it, when I put stuff in the dry section, it doesn't mean I don't like it per se, it's just that it doesn't make people moist. It can make people happy, it can make people like go like, wow, that's pretty cool, but it doesn't make people moist. Now we have the good old timpani, which is like one of the bass parts of the percussion instruments, right? Along with the bass drum and stuff like that. But it is a very, um, resounding instrument. There's a lot of uh, sound that just goes right and it hits you really hard, right? And boom, boom, boom. But again, as much as I compliment these instruments, I can't say it is damp. I don't even I don't even know if I can say it's dry. I think I have to go with it's an arid instrument because as much as it's cool and as much as I love this instrument, it has never made anyone damp. Next we have the triangle. Moving on, we have the trombone. And as I said before, I like the trombone. It's an interesting instrument. You know, the fact that you have the little slide thing, and it always impressed me. But uh, yeah, it's, it's an interesting instrument, and it's a pretty cool instrument. It makes nice sounds. You know, I'm gonna put it right next to its brother, the bass trombone, right in the damp section. With that, we have the trumpet. I feel like most of the brass instruments, right, they're pretty damp, you know? They're like on the damp side, but they're not, you know, too crazy. Like, they don't make people like amazingly moist, but when you play it, it's pretty cool. It's nice to hear. However, we have the tuba. 
And along with the piccolo, the tuba is the other instrument that I love to pick on because one of my friends played it. And yeah, it's just a, I don't know why. I, I, it's not even a bad instrument. It's just that every time I look, I imagine him playing the tuba, it makes me completely moistless. So yeah, I'm gonna put it in the moistless section. Next we have the ukulele. Beautiful instrument, simple, a little bit overrated I'd say. Um, I'm gonna put it in the damp section, right? Because while it's a cool instrument, um, I feel like it's the kind of instrument where if you play it, right, people are like, oh, that's cool, but they don't really go moist over it, you know? You play the acoustic guitar, right, and you strum some chords, right? As long as you're dealing with someone who's kind of basic, you can just play G, D, minor, C, or you can play Perfect or Oasis, and boom, you're, you're done, right? But the ukulele, you know, it's just like, haha, you play ukulele, that's kind of cool, kind of quirky, but it's not gonna make me moist, all right? Next, we got the vibraphone. Now, some people might not even know what the vibraphone is, but it's this instrument, it's one of the per tuned percussion instruments, and it's so amazing because there's this kind of technological side to it that it allows the sound to vibrate using rotary fans inside the instrument, I believe, and it sounds amazing. I love the sound so much. I want to play it one day. That's one of my dreams. One of my dream instruments to play is the vibraphone. I'm going to put in the wet section because of how amazing it is. Now, it's not moist because it is more of a harmonic background instrument, so it doesn't make people too moist. But just playing a chord, a simple chord on the instrument, can make anyone moist. Next, we got the good old viola. Now, I don't, I, I don't think I can tell these two apart. I'm pretty sure this is the viola, though. Um, we're going to say this is the viola. We have a lot of viola jokes, right? Especially with two-step violin and stuff. We got a lot of viola jokes. But, as much as many people make fun of violas, I feel like we forget about the potential it has in amazing players. And I, just for that, I'm going to put it up one more notch. Okay? It's not moistless. It is not moistless. As much as it is a joke, right? it's not moistless. It's not that bad. Right? But we got its amazing brother, the violin. And I mean, you know, you have to call it right, a moist instrument. The violin is an amazing instrument. I love it. Next, we got voice or singing. I think it's very moist. Again, you know, it's one of those instruments where if you're really good at it, if you can sing, Everyone around you gets moist. You know, it's the kind of people that you're jealous about. So yeah, I'm gonna put the singing in the moist section. Finally, we got the xylophone, another respectable percussion instrument, and it's. I feel like it's a little bit less than the other two percussions, just because you know, it's just me. It's just me. Probably everyone has different opinions, but I feel like the marimba and the uh, vibraphone have a little bit more, you know beauty in the, how they sound. But the xylophone itself is still a nice, cool percussive instrument, so I'm gonna put it in the damp section. Yeah, so we rated them all, which is nice. Uh, a lot of people are probably pissed off because I put your instruments in the dry section. But uh, remember, this is not how cool is an instrument. There's a lot of instruments in the dry and below section that I, I like. However, this is how moist doesn't make other people, okay? And based on that, I feel like these results are at least fairly unbiased and make sense. But if you disagree, you can go ahead and hit the dislike button and have a badly worded comment down in the comment section. But if you agree or if you just like the video, you can do whatever you want. I don't, I don't care. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just bored. Thank you for watching.